Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Leanne Swafford. I invite you to reflect and celebrate with me the anniversary of the United States Army Medical Specialist Corps, otherwise known as the SP Corps. This year is special because it also represents the medical military specialty of 65 that now includes physical therapists, occupational therapists, dietitians, and physician assistants. The Army's Medical Specialist Corps is proud of its heritage of soldier health and healing. For more than 65 years, our medical professionals have provided care for millions of soldiers and their families in all military settings in times of peace and war. The Corps' heritage of compassionate caring, dedication to duty, resolute determination and excellence continues today. It is important to pay respect to the pioneers who led us to this point and to create the conditions for success of the great men and women who will lead us into the future. This video is only a very small snapshot of the Corps' rich and illustrious history. Before the Corps was established, medical specialists such as dietitians, occupational, and physical therapists proved to be vital assets in times of war. They answered the call to duty as far back as the Spanish-American War and World War I. Known as Reconstruction Aides, these civilians built a dynamic medical team and blazed a trail for future medical providers in the United States Army. The robust history of the Medical Specialist Service began during the Spanish-American War and continued in 1917 when the Army Surgeon General Major General Gorgas sponsored an executive order that authorized the Civil Service Commission to employ physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and dietists as civilians in the Army Medical Department until the end of World War I. That same year, Major General Gorgas also established the Division of Special Hospitals and Physical Reconstruction to coordinate treatment and training of sick and wounded soldiers. These medical providers were known as hospital dietists and reconstruction aides with the mission to restore military disabled in the line of duty to maximum function through mental and manual work. However, it was not until 22 December 1942 that the 77th Congress passed Public Law 828, authorizing dietitians and physical therapists to receive military status in the medical department for the duration of the war. In 1944, the Bolton Bill provided commissioned officer status for Army dietitians, physical therapists, and nurses, granting them the same allowances, rights, benefits, and privileges as other Army officers. These professions were never far from the front lines. In 1942, four brave professionals, three dietitians and one physical therapist, were captured as prisoners of war by the Japanese and detained in the Philippines until they were repatriated in 1945. After these providers demonstrated their worth during this time period, the Army Surgeon General recommended the establishment of a permanent unified corps of officers dedicated to the rehabilitation of troops in 1946. The time period is 1947 to 1970. It was an exciting era of new beginnings. 1947 marked the official establishment of the Women's Medical Specialist Corps and later became co-ed in 1955. With a shortage of providers in tumultuous times, the Corps officers showed unwavering dedication and commitment serving as physician extenders. When the 80th Congress convened, Representative Margaret Chase Smith presented the bill that would recognize occupational therapists, physical therapists, and dietitians as a part of the regular Army. On 16 April 1947, President Harry S. Truman signed Public Law 8036 establishing the Women's Medical Specialist Corps, and on 5 December 1947, Major Emma Vogel was appointed as the first Corps Chief. Recognizing a shortage in rehabilitation providers, eight years later on 9 August 1955, Public Law 84294 authorized the commissioning of male medical specialists. As a result, the Corps was renamed the Army Medical Specialist Corps and the insignia was changed to a gold caduceus with a black S that officers wear proudly today. When conflict arose in Vietnam 1966 to 1973, a total of 74 Army Medical Specialist Corps officers volunteered for duty, marking the first time AMSC officers 
were assigned to a combat zone. As the Medical Specialist Corps continued to serve valiantly in time of war, Colonel Catherine Manchester became the first SP officer selected for promotion to the rank of colonel. This time period in history provided unique challenges for our officers while serving in multiple international conflicts. These officers provided their unwavering dedication and commitment to the health and well-being of soldiers by establishing a corps and building strength while supporting the U.S. war efforts. From 1970 to 1991, the United States continued with war and nation assistance efforts, followed by sharp military cutbacks. This time period focused on embracing opportunities for expanded relevance, developing new partnerships, and building a national reputation for excellence. The Corps shifted its focus from purely medical treatment to wellness and injury prevention efforts within the Army. With the end of the Vietnam conflict in 1973, the last of the heroic Army Medical Specialist Corps officers to serve in Vietnam returned home and the size of the Corps decreased significantly. By 1982, the Army Medical Specialist Corps shifted its focus to assisting unit commanders improve health and wellness. These officers provided support regarding weight control, nutrition education programs, physical fitness, injury prevention, and stress and lifestyle management through health and advisory teams worldwide. Worldwide conflict continued in Southwest Asia, and in 1990, the 18th Airborne Corps deployed to Southwest Asia in support of Operation Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and with it, one of the first field hospitals, the 28th Combat Support Hospital staffed with dietitians and physical therapists, SP officers from all three components in all four specialties deployed from areas around the world to support this effort. After recognizing the shortage of physicians and medical support in the Gulf War, the Department of the Army forwarded a legislative draft to Congress in 1991 to create a physician assistant section within the Army Medical Specialist Corps. Since 1992, the Army Medical Specialist Corps has evolved into a unique medical team with the addition of physician assistants. Providers have been assigned for direct support into combat arms units and worldwide deployments have continued. Together, we have conducted research, advanced educational programs, and continually refined the quality of world-class care for our wounded warriors. With a bright future and enduring legacy, the Corps continues to grow outside of the hospital settings. On 4 February 1992, over 300 physician assistants transitioned to commissioned officers in the Army Medical Specialist Corps. Today, physician assistants are over half of the Corps' inventory and serve primarily in tactical units around the world as well as in fixed facilities. Their professional skills include primary care, specialty care, emergency medicine and orthopedics, as well as tactical combat medical care which prepares all deploying providers serving in roles one and two. As providers worked beyond the traditional walls of hospitals and clinics, Colonel Brenda Mosley became the first Army Medical Specialist Corps officer to command a hospital unit. On September 11, 2001, the United States was attacked by terrorists beginning America's global war on terrorism. As a result, in the last 11 years, Army Medical Specialist Corps officers have deployed to Afghanistan, Iraq and Kuwait, in medical units and in support of special forces, ranger battalions, and in brigade combat teams. The SP Corps team performs their duty as healthcare providers, instructors, leaders in research, and as commanders of medical units worldwide. Stemming from over 10 plus years of war, the U.S. Army opened two comprehensive rehabilitation centers the Military Advanced Training Center and the Center for the Intrepid to treat severely injured soldiers' physical and mental wounds. SP care providers are integral to the care in these facilities. No matter where the Specialist Corps serves this great nation, they are making a difference each and every day in the health and wellness of service members everywhere. Throughout the last decade, each SP specialty section has made remarkable strides to maintain and promote health and resiliency of America's wounded warriors so they can resume full lives either returning to the military or the civilian sector. 
the Army Medical Specialist Corps is always ready to embrace opportunities and create a bright future. Recent accomplishments for each section include Occupational therapists worked in combat and operational stress control units and established traumatic brain injury recovery centers in combat zones. They also initiated the use of therapy dogs to support soldiers while deployed. Physical therapists were officially assigned to brigade combat teams by 2010 to serve as musculoskeletal experts, physician extenders, and injury prevention human performance optimization consultants. Dietitians developed and implemented cutting-edge performance nutrition and weight management programs to improve soldier fitness, health, and performance. Physician assistants served as the primary medical advisors in units and provided forward care in garrison and deployed settings, ensuring commanders' medical readiness. They also contributed to the research and development of life-saving protocols and practice in specialty areas such as orthopedics and emergency medicine. Together, these exceptional medical specialists and clinician leaders have worked together to provide world-class healthcare to soldiers and their families, as well as leading the way in education, research, technology, mentorship, and doctrine development. They continue to answer the call to serve while creating a unique military medical legacy. We will never forget our roots as a Corps and look forward to the future of superb leadership and innovation. Thank you for joining me to review this historical snapshot of the United States Army Medical Specialist Corps. Truly a heritage of soldier health and healing. <laughs>